life is amazing. Life is amazing. Life is amazing. And the only reason that we begin to move through life and not feel as if it is as amazing as it is, is because you're not moving in alignment with what's set up for you. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode here. My name is Laura and I'm here to offer a space to breathe. Inhale and exhale. And be more selfish, self-love, self-worth, and everything self to get out of your head and into your truth of being. To uncover peace, love, joy, clarity, and alignment within yourself and your life's experience. If that speaks to you, make sure that you subscribe and you click that thumbs up button so that this message gets out to everyone because I believe that everyone deserves to wake up from the lies in their head and live out in their truth. Bold, magical, spiritual, amazing, wonderful, phenomenal way of being. Somehow through conditioning and taught habits and learned shit, we humans have become conditioned to attaching ourselves. You have become conditioned to attaching yourself to negative thoughts over the positive, to worry over freedom, to anxiety over relaxing and chilling the fuck out. Somehow we have gotten lost in this idea of seeing negativity as a way of being and as a way of keeping ourselves maybe safe or comfortable or just not knowing any better of what's on the other side of surrendering and letting go and inhaling and exhaling and just being in what is, what is happening. So life is amazing just as it is. And yes, shit happens. But we all have choices when things go wrong or go bad, bad, labeled bad, when things don't go our way, when things don't go what we planned out, what we put our hard energy and, and time and everything, effort into making it be a certain way and it doesn't go our way. Life isn't amazing in this moment, right? And so we choose to attach ourselves to everything that goes wrong everything that's possibly gonna go wrong everything that just ain't right all right all right laura so how do i stop thinking about all the things that are in my face that i'm facing about these bills or about these people about this relationship about whatever is happening in your life that you feel you have no other way of being but to focus on it because you need to fix the problem right you're, you're focused on fixing a problem and so how do we get in alignment and break up with always fixing problems? Because the thing is, when you're fixing problems, you're focused on problems. So your energy and attention is still creating the same thing. You're creating these problems to fix because you're conditioned to fix problems. When in actuality, there's probably no problem at all. On the other side of surrendering, there's no problem at all. You're looking for problems to fix the problem versus surrendering to what is and being in a space of optimism and looking to how do I want to feel in this moment? Focus there. How do I want to be in this moment? Focus your energy there. What do I want in this moment? Focus your energy there. What do you want? The only way for you to attract and get what you really want is to actually know what you want, to speak about what you want, to move in what you want, to act as if what you want is already here because it is. It is in the making. It is in the coming. It is yours. And so when you focus over here on all the things you got to fix and the problems you got to solve, you're blocking and, and you're resisting the space of where what you want lies. You're not lining up with this. You're steady curving and going around it because you gotta fix problems before you can get to what you want. You've got to figure out how to fix 
problems before you can get to what you want. So you're dodging all of the greatness that's already set up for you because no, that's too easy, that's too good to be true, that can't happen for me, that's not my life, that's somebody else's life. You know, I'm the one that was set up like this and I don't know, woe is me and I got this victim mentality and I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. When your greatness, your amazingness, your wants, your desires are facing you in your face, you're choosing to create problems, to fix problems, and you can't even see what's right in front of you. Let's inhale and exhale on that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So just in case you missed that, you may be saying, Laura, how do I get in alignment? You said all of that talk, cute. How do I get in alignment with my desires, with my wants, with what I'm deserving and worthy of, right? It's not how you get in alignment. It is release, resisting what is. Claim what's yours and move in it. Release, resisting what is. In this very moment, whatever is happening, whatever is in your space, release it. Surrender to what is. Be in the space that is in, that you're in and be okay with that. You have a choice to find joy in any moment you have. You have a choice to find excitement in any moment that you have. You have a choice to find freedom in any moment that you have. It's up to you to create these choices by becoming present to what is. I'm going to share this quick little story, then I'm getting off of here. Today was my first day to have a COVID test. I'm getting prepared for a procedure, a surgery, and I had to, yes, have a COVID test. So my mind wanted to give me the visuals of all the negative about taking a COVID test. And this going up your nose and they got to dig down there but my spirit, because I know what the space that I'm in and I know what it feels like when I'm being my true, bold, inner being, authentic, spiritually, magically aligned self. I know what it feels like. It feels good. It feels amazing. It feels excited. It's not worrying. It's not fearful. It just feels free and flowing. All right. And so when I started hearing or seeing these visuals that were trying to, um, project fear over me or, or worry over me. When these visuals began to creep their way towards me, I'm not going to say in, towards me, my true self was aware of what was happening. All right. And I began to get even more excited. I'm like, it's happening. Let's get this done. This is a part of the process of what I got to do to move on to the next step of what I'm doing. All right. So I sit there for her to only tell me I have two um, swabs that I'm going to have to do in each nose. The other one was a big fat um, Q-tip that she had to swab three times this way, three times that way. Wasn't as deep as the COVID, but she did that one first. I actually feel like that one hurt it more than the, than the COVID test. Or maybe I was just already nosed up that it was like, this was not even, even a big deal. <laughs> And so once she did that and I had to do it in the other nostril, then she pulls out the little skinny one for the COVID test and goes down. I got to stay five seconds down there. You're doing great. Boom. It was done. All right. Ready for the next. I'm telling you this. I'm sharing this with you because I could have psyched myself out to be freaked out. Instead, I went in there with an optimistic, positive attitude, with a smile on my face, excited to do what I needed to do in the present moment. So I was present to what I was doing versus streaming and drifting all off in negativity or worry or fear or doubt and all the things that could have carried me, carried me away to make this testing experience worse. I could have had such a bad idea about this that I would have had a bad experience about it. Instead, I chose to have a positive idea about it. So I had a positive experience about it. All of that. All of that. And I'm serious. I'm not just saying that on this video just to be bullshitting about what this video is about. I'm sharing this because this is fresh. It just happened to me today. And I felt good about it. I felt good after the fact. It was a big thing for me, right? There were moments of nervous energy that tried to creep in, but my excitement was so powerful, was so strong that I knew that my inner being, that my true self was out shining. It was shining through the fear, the worry, the doubt. And I'm here to tell you that 
You have a choice to actually connect to the truth of you, who you are, which is your inner being, your inner truest self, right? Not what floats in your mind, not these fictitious lies that float in your mind that can bring on a completely different reality, a completely different experience. You have a connection to your truth. You have a connection to the universe. You have a connection to God. You have a connection to source energy, whatever you want to call it. There is a truth within you. There's an inner being that brings out this uplifting vibration, this excited, joyful vibration. It is amazing to feel the truth of your being. And I thought that I would share that with you because you choose your experience. You choose how to deal with the situations and the circumstances that are flowing um, or happening in your space. You choose, you have a choice. So how do we get in alignment, Laura? How do we get in alignment with our true authentic way of being? How do we get in alignment with our desires, our wants, excitement, joy, fulfillment? How do we get in alignment with life is amazing, right? You tap into the truth of your being by being present in every moment that you, you are offered. You inhale and you exhale every time you feel stressed, every time you feel overwhelmed, every time you feel worry, every time you feel fear, you're not tapped into your truth of being. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying this is an amazing thing to become aware of so that you begin to realize your expansion and your growth. The more you become aware of your worry, your fears, your, your doubts, your insecurities, the more that you're able to pause, create space between it, and then create choices to move from there you will start seeing there's a difference that you are not fear you're not worry you're not doubt you're not all of these things that 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 are low vibration you're not this lower self you're not this lower being and you don't deserve low vibrational experiences the experiences that make you feel like shit that make you feel like life isn't amazing at times right there are some times when life hands limits you have choices of how to move through it. You have choices. That's all I wanted to share today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like more on tapping into the truth of your being, I suggest you join me in my masterclass, Unlearn the BS. Unlearn the BS, the old belief system or bullshit, whichever way you want to say it. This masterclass is what's gotten me into the space I'm in today. I put it all in there and it is about tapping into this unchanging space of inner peace, love, joy within you, how we go into truly making that connection. So check out Unlearn the BS. I love you. Thank you for tuning in today. Until next time. Mm -hmm.